I'd like to recall that in July 1995, the General Counsel established a working party all the way back in 95 to examine the request by Seychelles for accession. And it was October 17th of this year that the working party approved ad referendum the accession package for the Republic of Seychelles. The report of the working party is therefore formally before the General Counsel for consideration and adoption. After a 19-year process, today is a historic day for the government and people of the Republic of Seychelles. It is remarkable that over the course of the WTO accession negotiations, the Republic of Seychelles notified about 300 pieces of legislation to the WTO for multilateral review. 250 of these were enacted during the accession process. The impressive progress on the domestic legislative front under the guidance of President James Michel and Vice President Danny Ford contributed great, greatly to the forward momentum in our work over the past two years. I would like to invite the General Counsel to adopt the report of the Working Party as a whole in the documents that we cited to you, document stroke SYC 64 and its addenda 1 and 2. The General Counsel so agrees. So it is with great pleasure that I welcome the decision we've just taken on the accession of the Republic of Seychelles to the WTO. The decision we've just taken on the accession of Seychelles is another sign of the world's confidence in the WTO and the multilateral trading system. I honestly uh, consider that through your future membership in the WTO, uh, the Seychelles will have a more stable, more predictable framework for economic engagement with other nations, which will contribute mightily to trade and to growth. Mr. Chairman, the Seychelles government and its people have been looking forward for so long to be part of this international family. Membership of the WTO is very important for Seychelles. It will bring immense benefits to our economy, from businesses to consumers. The reforms that we had to undertake during the accession process have already brought about important benefits. Our laws and policies are now at par with best international standards, and our private sector has already begun to reap the benefits of a more predictable and transparent trading system. By concluding its accessions negotiations, Seychelles has sent a clear signal to all its trading partners that it is ready to engage fully in the multilateral trading system and in the world economy. So while I think that this is an important moment for the Seychelles, like I just said, it is also uh, a very important moment for the WTO. Uh, this accession is another sign of the continued importance of the multilateral trading system. In recent weeks, we have shown that we can implement important negotiated outcomes, and this accession is a further note of confidence to our work. The idea uh, is never to have the accessions of, to the WTO as an end in itself. Um, the accessions to the WTO is just a platform to enhance uh, the integration of uh, the exceeding member into the global economy, in this case Seychelles, to boost growth and development in that country, and of course to improve the lives of each citizen um, in, the, in, 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 the, in the Seychelles. We now cover approximately 98% of world trade with the accession of the Seychelles. So this accession is a further step towards a universal WTO. The country already benefited significantly from opening up its economy to, to more trade through 
regional uh, integration uh, through side and governance already. And this step will just uh, push us further into integrating in the, into the world trading system. The country has a good experience of uh, reforms with the macroeconomy over the last five to six years, and uh, these have benefited the, the people very much in terms of uh, uh, a more open economy and stronger growth.